Well, it's been another great spring for Wheaton College football, and it all began over spring break when Wheaton football went on its annual mission trips. And this year we have traveled to Senegal, Africa to meet with our former alum, Wheat Rodney Duttweiler, and it was a great trip there with Rodney. We've been going there now for, for almost 11 years. And then we headed to a separate group branched off to the Dominican Republic, and we met with uh, former alum uh, Kyle Bradley and did some great work there with Kyle, and then to Haiti with Grant Roscoiak. And these mission trips, for those of you who don't know and have never been on one, and, and for those recruits that might be looking at this, it's, a, it's an amazing thing. It's an amazing time for our players. It's a chance for them to serve those less fortunate, to reconnect with former players that are on the mission field. But most importantly, it's a chance for them really to grow in their own personal walk with Christ and to see the true joy that can come from acts of service like this. And these trips have just been a huge, huge thing in our program. And, and it starts every spring off that way, and it makes for a great time. And we came back. And within a day, we were on the practice field. And uh, we just finished up at five weeks later, uh, 16 practices later with our spring practices. Uh, our staff thought that it was probably the best spring practices that we've ever had uh, since we, the NCAA allowed us to, began allowing us to do this a few years ago. It was a great work, a great opportunity for some of our kids that are not on top of the depth chart to get some work to learn about what's going on. And, and it was just a real positive time for us this year. A lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm. Kids were healthy, and it was it was a great time, and and uh, that is in, goes along in conjunction with some weight training that we do, which now concludes this week with our max lifts in the weight room, and our kids are in there testing and seeing how strong they can get, and it just never ceases to amaze me that as the years go by, our kids just keep getting stronger, and I know a lot of it has to do with training and diet and and so on and so forth. But a lot of it in weakness because our kids are motivated, and they're just highly highly self motivated kids that really understand the value of hard work and understand what it takes to to be good and that's another exciting thing that's happening here at Wheaton right now but I think the thing that really was a shot in the arm to our football program this year was having uh, Andy Studebaker and Pete Ersagen around you know, obviously because of the labor negotiations that are occurring in the NFL those two guys hung out at Wheaton College for most of the winter and the spring and having two NFL guys lifting with your players, running around with them on the practice field, helping them coach them up in spring. It is amazing. It really is. And just the energy they provide and the, the enthusiasm they provide and, and the encouragement they are to our players, that's just, just a, a major, major boost to us. And normally they show up in January, but then when their, their camps reconvene and their, their, their workouts start in February, we lose them. But this year we kept them. We still have them. And, and that's, that's been a lot of fun. Uh, the other thing that we're just concluding right now is our recruiting. Uh, we could possibly have the largest recruiting class we've had in my 26 years here at Wheaton. We have 36 kids committed at this point with the potential for four more. Uh, then we've met all of our needs and uh, those kids represent 16 different states. Uh, they, they represent all the positions on the football field and we are really excited about those guys uh, joining the Wheaton football program. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention for those recruits that are out there, they're now we're recruiting for the class of 2012. Um, there, we have a June 10th, it's a June 10th line camp that I think some of you already know about. I want to welcome you guys to join up and, and sign up for that. That's online. As well as our junior recruiting day, which is June 24th. And that's a great event if you want to take a look at our campus and spend a day here, meet coaches and players, and, and have an opportunity to really investigate Wheaton and see it at another level. So, you know, great things have been happening in Wheaton College and in our program. And, and for those of you who don't know much about it, I would encourage you to to go online and check out our website. And, but I just want to encourage everybody, all of our alums, all of our recruits, all the young men that are coming here, to, to just to continue to love God, to continue to pursue Him, to continue to keep your priorities in line, and to, to remember that God loves you and He's got a plan for each of us. And, and uh, God bless all of you and stay tough.